642 is the time now. You know, there's new technology in the works right here in Metro Detroit aimed at creating high speed transportation. Who knows, maybe even speed of sound one day. Hey, we're ready for that later this year. Students from Michigan will head to California for what's called SpaceX Hyperloop competition. And this morning, 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith, he's live in Ann Arbor with a look at the vehicle or pod that students built from scratch. Matt, what does this thing even look like? Well, actually, we got a great preview of that for you because right here, uh, they actually just finished this up. This is the Meyer tractor trailer that's going to be taking this thing all the way up to California for the test track. Uh, joining me this morning, we have Emmanuel Papagiu, uh, uh, Papa Giorgio. Uh, tell me a little bit. I mean, when you saw this thing and you realized that the work that you and your fellow students have been putting into this is heading out to California, I mean, what's the thought process here? Definitely. The, the first time I saw it, it's just did so much justice to the to the team of 50 students that have been working so hard for this project. Um, the sheer scale of it is something that well, simply just shocked us all. And um, it really is going to, with the fleet of Meyer that has provided us with this uh, donation of the truck out to California, it's going to provide us with great exposure and uh, can allow us to to get out there safely. All right, so we've got this test track in California. We want to showcase this to our viewers at home. So take a look at this. Uh, this is what it looks like to actually be inside of uh, that Hyperloop. And, and it's amazing when you think about this, the technology that goes into it. Tell me a little bit, Emmanuel, what is this Hyperloop or what does the actual chamber itself do? So um, pretty much whenever you get inside an airplane, you climb up to a cruising altitude of about 30,000 feet. And what the tube does is it simulates that environment, but at ground level. So instead of having to climb up and kind of waste all that fuel and all that time, you really can simulate that environment at ground level and be able to reach so high speeds because there's no air pressure. So you guys right now are taking a look at uh, what you guys built from the ground up. I mean, this is that pod that will run inside that test track that's out in California. Uh, this thing, you guys have a, have a goal here. How fast do you want to get this to go? And, and what's the goal eventually for these pods to travel? So our goal right now is, is, is um, 300. Our team has worked so hard to get that. And uh, we're really looking forward to getting um, into the tube in California. And the ultimate goal for these vehicles is to reach uh, supersonic speed. So imagine uh, having a supersonic boom inside a chamber and there really wouldn't be any sound produced, but it's traveling at these insane crazy speeds and we really don't need to go so high up. We can stay on the ground and really just take advantage of that. And I love the idea. You've talked about 30 minute trips between Chicago and Detroit. That is a potential possibility. That's something that we could one day see when stuff like this is actually running in these hyperloops. Hey, coming up, we're going to be talking a little bit more about what's going on with this at 7 o'clock. But I do want to put you over to our website, WXYZ.com, because soon you guys will actually be able to get up close and personal with this and see it before it makes that trip to California. That's later on today. For now, we're live in Ann Arbor. I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. A sonic boom inside the tube. That's amazing. So you wouldn't hear it. it. Is amazing. Right. And, and you know, you could be in <laughs> Chicago in 30 minutes, you have dinner, a show, and come home. Unbelievable. <laughs> you were just giving us stats about the speed of sound, and we were figuring it all out. Well, it's like six, uh, seven hundred.